back. <laughs> We've been working hard on the sword, you know. Check it out! Hmm, indeed. It is as I thought. This sword grows stronger as you use it in battle. I thought that only applied to people. And that's precisely what makes it special. Ah, oh, yes. I should mention a more important matter first. I've investigated the area nearby, and I've discovered some unusual signs. It's not more thieves, is it? That's true. I believe that these strange traces require investigation. Whether it be thieves or something else, we shall investigate, and we shall find out. Lots of human activity here, that's for sure. Looks like more than one person, too. So they have a camp here. Huh, here to steal, just as usual. And would be rather convenient to rob adventurers who come up here, yes. It's survival of the fittest here on this mountain, huh? All that stealing, though, and still every last one of them still poor as dirt. Hmm. Anyone who calls us thieves gets no pity from Paimon. Who's that? Who are these sniveling sneaks snooping around our camp? Ah! We're busted! What are the Fatui doing here? And those treasure hoarders look just as confused as we do, too! Run. The Fatui. And they chose to attack us within the treasure hoarder's camp. Did they follow us here? Why would they do that? Did you go rile them up while we weren't looking? Did you? Um, maybe it's something we all did then. I think the Fatui are looking for the sword. <sighs> weren't you keeping the sword super secret? How did they know it existed? Perhaps they caught sight of you using it on the mountain. If their eyes are any good, they'll definitely have seen how this sword stands out from the rest. They really want everything, don't they? Not quite, no. The Fatui are collecting things related to the Archons. This, I believe, is known to you. Huh. Now that you mention it, we did hear Master Diluc say that. Durin is the sworn enemy of the Animo Archon, and had power comparable to his. To say that it could rival the Archons, or was related to them, neither is an- So that's how it is! I made a new discovery while sketching nearby. There's an area up ahead that's quite remarkable. Its ley lines flow differently from any other. Nearby monsters have been attracted to it and have fallen under its influence. As a result, their constitutions have come to far surpass others of the same kind. That seems convenient. Well, we're here to help this sword grow, aren't we? Might as well go try it out on those monsters. Precisely my intention. Oh, and do remember to observe how various enemies affect this sword differently while you're at it, please. <laughs> So how did it feel? I have a hypothesis concerning this. Each time the sword absorbs power from the bodies of fallen enemies, it will resonate with Durin's remains, hidden somewhere on this mountain. Holy moly, that sounds amazing! If my theory proves correct, this could mean that all the monsters here may be resonating with Durin's body. I fear this may have to do with the origin of these monsters' powers. Durin is no ordinary beast. Even though it is long dead, the entire mountain is still held in thrall by its corpse. The dragon's mysterious power may itself be a form of curse. We still don't have enough information. If we wish to understand more, more data is required. And this is where you come in. Guess story times become work time. I have some research work that needs settling, so we will have to work separately for now. Let's meet up again near the broken bridge. <laughs>